Hello and welcome. Glad to have you with us today for Lone Star Conference Online Media Day. And today we'll be speaking with Hills Hopper's head women's basketball coach, J.J. Reel, alongside a trio of St. Edwards University senior guards. Welcome back alongside Hilltoppers head women's basketball coach, JJ Real. I'm Kit McConica. Glad to have you with us. Coach, first year in the Lone Star Conference, your team picked to finish ninth overall. What are your expectations this first year? Yeah, I, th I think it's um, it's all a big unknown, you know. Um, we battle these guys and we play these guys frequently um, in, in pre-conference play for the past two decades. And so now it's just figuring out how to do that every single week. Um, you know, as always, we don't really get hung up a bit, a lot on that preseason stuff. Um, that's just all talk. And, um, you know, our focus is on the day-to-day -day and getting better each day and um, trying to win each day. And, um, you know, all that stuff will work itself out. Last year, your team finished 16 and 14 overall. You were 7 and 7 in conference. Where have you seen the biggest improvements this offseason? I think our relationships, number one, have gotten better. Our chemistry of our seven um, returning kids has gotten really, really strong. Uh, the kids worked really hard over the summer um, with those seven and then with the seven incoming kids with those relationships so that when we got back in August, we was kind of hit the ground running. Um, and I think that has really helped uh, from a confidence standpoint. Um, and the new kids coming in, uh, you know, I think they give us talent, certainly on the floor um, and some things that we haven't had um, in a while. But I think uh, they also build to that really strong foundation of relationships um, and help in the area of confidence. Before we talk about the newcomers, let's talk about the returning players, if you would, including three seniors. What are your expectations for the senior class? You know, I think the biggest expectation is is leadership. Um, it's being it's being vocal um, and it's being accountable and it's having expectations and being able to put that onto the group, the other 11. I mean, those three guys have done a really good job in that regard. Um, and then the new kids have really done a good job coming in and following that lead. Um, the basketball stuff, that stuff isn't, isn't so much of the focus the day to day. It's more the accountability, the leadership, um, what we're asking them to do, um, and and they've really they've really done a good job there. You have four transfers, three of which have Division One experience. W what do they bring to your team? You know, I, th I think the first thing is is they're all really good people, and in that really good people, I think you have to talk about they're all really good teammates, and that doesn't happen all the time when you get those kind of transfers. Um, they've come in and they've really molded to what our culture is. Um, and the greatest thing about all of those guys is the passion and joy that they've brought to the group. Um, there's an excitement and a joy and a happiness with them, even at 6 o'clock in the morning. And that's tough to do when you're going five mornings in a row at 6 a.m. Um, and I think that those incoming kids have really brought that um, to the group. Uh, and then obviously on the court, I think we're a little more athletic than we've been um, in the past. And we have an explosiveness at, at positions um, that, that is certainly going to help us. Um, and then the confidence, you know, I think we're knocking down shots better. Uh, last year, you know, if, if you watched us, you know at times we struggled to knock down open shots. Um, I think that some of those new kids and the confidence they've brought to us, those outside shots are, are easier right now. Um, and so, yeah, everything is working and, and we're flowing and, and we're moving in the right direction. Um, again, it's just day to day and, and win the day. You, you mentioned culture. I know that's something that's very important to you. How, how would you define the culture of Hilltopper women's basketball? I think, um, you know, the culture is 100% about people. Uh, we talk all the time, you know, everyone talks about they want to, if you watch sports at all today or, or you're on Twitter at all, at the conclusion of a season, everything is about rings and ring season. And, um, and, and our biggest thing is, is rings and relationships and you can't have one without the other. Um, and in the years that we've been fortunate enough to be successful here um, and do things that maybe had never been done before, it hasn't necessarily been because of the floor or X's and O's or the basketball. It's always about the relationships and how strong those relationships are. 
Um, and I think for me, that's the thing that's most exciting about this group. It's the first time in, a, in about two or three, two years, it's the first time since our championship run in 15, 16 that um, there's a, a genuine and an authentic uh, happiness and joy about this group. So it makes coming to work every day a lot of fun with them. Finally, Coach, your first year in the Lone Star Conference, what are your goals for this season? You know, I leave the goal stuff up to the kids. Uh, and we actually had a, a team meal last night um, over at my house, and and they had a team meeting, a players meeting, where we left and went outside on the back porch, and, and they discussed all of that. Um, my goals are always that we're good people, um, that we leave things better than we found them, um, and that we work hard. We win each day. That All that other stuff and, and – how many points they want to score and and championships and that that's that's their goals you know that's that's what they want to do um you know if we focus on the little things and the day-to-day -day things then we'll be okay in the end coach as always we thank you for your time best of luck this season thank you we're joined now by Farron Sutton a senior guard from Charlotte North Carolina and Farron, it's your fourth season as part of the St. Edwards women's basketball team. Uh, how has this program grown since you were a freshman? Um, I think this program has grown a lot. Uh, I think we have a lot of potential. Uh, just trying to keep our culture the same, uh, leaving everything better than we found it. So I think that's our main focus right now. This year, the Hilltoppers will compete in the Lone Star Conference. So what challenges do you think exist for this team in this new league? Um, I think as everyone knows, we have a lot of newcomers. Uh, on our team right as of now. So just kind of coming in as a team, uh, the competition is a little bit tougher than the Heartland Conference. So just being able to overcome the trials and tribulations that come throughout the season. You know, I know it's early in the year, but what changes have you noticed in this team so far? Um, definitely our team dynamics. Um, at the beginning, it was a little tough just to get everyone on the same page with newcomers and all that. But I think definitely we've become together, closer, and just more of a family. And then what aspects of basketball do you think that this team needs to focus on in order to have a successful season? Um, just trying to rotate the ball more, you know, just looking for the best possible shot. The first shot isn't always the best shot. So just maybe that getting that extra pass in. So I think we'll be good, though. And I'm sure you can't wait to get going. I'm excited. Can't wait. All right, Farron Sutton, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Welcome back alongside senior guard Alexi Cunningham. I'm Kit McConico. Alexi, first year in the Lone Star Conference. I know high expectations for your team. What are you most looking forward to this first year in the Lone Star? Well, um, it's really exciting to be in a new conference. Um, but it's also, you know, there's the fear of the unknown. It's a typically it's been a more competitive um more tough conference so there's that to look forward to but we recruited um, a little bigger this year and uh, we got some really great new talent so I think we'll be up there amongst the the top. <laughs> if someone has never seen Hilltoppers basketball how, how would you describe the style that y'all play? Um, you know sometimes in years past I think we've been a little bit more slow set up our play um, I think this year we have a lot of quickness on our team so we're kind of trying to focus on getting those easy transition baskets rather than always having to set up a play and only having one shot to take um, if that makes sense so I think it's going to look a little bit different this year and hopefully that'll help us you know with the with the new conference your fourth year here on the hilltop you're a guard you're a great shooter but how would you describe your role on this team um, well, obviously this is my fourth year, uh, and that is sometimes uncommon because there's only two of us here that were our fourth year seniors. And, um, I think that's just going to help us out in being like me and Farron being good, uh, leaders here and having known JJ this, uh, last four years and knowing how we work here. And, um, so I think I just play like a strong leadership role in knowing what's going on, how it's going to look. Uh, I have a little bit of a disadvantage with this new conference. Uh, so people are like, you know, how is this going to look? I'm like, I don't know. We've never played them. Uh, but, you know, I'm just here to help them along, uh, make sure everyone knows what they're doing, what is expected of us. And, yeah. So. You're a native Austinite. Mm -hmm. Off the court, you spend a lot of time in the community helping out. If you would just tell us about some of the things you do off the court. Absolutely. So my mom um, owns a school for kids with learning disabilities. And so I grew up uh, volunteering there, got a lot of hours there in high school and continued. I think I have, you know, over 50 just in college. And um, 
you know, the team does a weekly community service at Legacy Ranch. It's a uh, transitional home for kids in the foster care system. Um, so we go out there once a week just to kind of hang out with them and, you know, have some more one-on-one -on -one time with them because that's what they're missing, um, not being in like a single family home. And then um, just this past summer, I started volunteering at St. David's Hospital right across the road. Um, and that's been really fun, just, you know, wheeling around some older people and <laughs> taking them out of the hospital, seeing how happy they are just to be out in sunshine again. So it's, it's been very rewarding. Lexi Cunningham, a leader on and off the court. Thank you for your time. Best of luck this season. Thank you very much. Back. Glad to have you with us alongside Hilltopper senior guard Mario Mulcher. I'm Kit McConico. Mario, last year, your first year here on the Hilltop. Um, how would you describe your first season? Um, I think it was definitely a very learning process, a big learning process for me, um, just coming from a D1 program to a D2 program and really experiencing a lot of minutes. Um, it was definitely a very big transitional year for me. I grew a lot as a player and as a person, so I think it, for the most part, it was a very positive season. This year, you're going into a new conference, new challenges. Where have you seen the biggest improvements this off season? Well, we have a lot of new players on our team, so I think this is more of a getting to know everyone, getting to know their style of play. And I think we've done a great job of just coming together as a team. If you see us play on the court, it really looks like we've been together for a long time. So I think that our chemistry has really improved. And I think it was, if we continue to do that, I think it will help us on the court as well. Last year you finished conference play 7-7. Seven and seven. Where did you see the biggest improvements that needed to be made from last season to this? I think last year we definitely hit kind of a plateau. We weren't really growing as a team. And I think this year we've made improvements just to really get after every practice. I think that our intensity level has upped since last year. And I think that really helps us going into the season, knowing that, you know, we will have some dips in the season because it's a long season, but that if we keep the same intensity, um, we'll go far and collect all the wins we can. You mentioned the, the newcomers. You have seven newcomers, four of them transfers. You're a senior, your second year here. How has your role changed from year one to year two? Last year, I feel like I was just trying to find my role and place on the team. This year, I think I've stepped up more as a leader. I know my coaches really talked about me being, having a louder voice, being a bigger voice on the court, helping the freshmen, helping the newcomers, because I've been through that position before. And I, I love being a leader. I love helping my teammates in any way possible, even if I'm you know, not the captain or anything. I think everyone can step up, step up as a leader as well as I can, too. Finally, first year in the Lone Star Conference, what are your team goals for this season? Oh, we actually just talked about it last night. A lot of us were really harping on the fact that we need to grow as a team. We want to see we want to see us all succeed. It's not about just personal goals. It's about achieving our team goals. I think that we know that we're going to be underestimated coming into a bigger conference because we were underestimated last year in the Heartland. So I think just proving um, mainly to ourselves and proving to others that we belong here and that we are a good team. Mariam, thank you for your time. Best of luck this season. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today. Lone Star Conference Online Basketball Media Day here at St. Edwards University.